shared and I was making notes. Um, I loved that you pointed out that the goal is to find the best fit because often I find with international students, they've heard of Harvard, they've heard of Yale, but they don't realize that there are thousands of other high quality, higher education programs that could benefit them here in the United States. So thank you for stressing that. As a virtual English language fellow sponsored by the US Department of State, I had the privilege of serving as a visiting professor at the Federal University of Goiás in Goiania, Brazil. My students, several of them began to ask me how could they study in the US or how could they find out about programs um, in the US either as undergraduate studies or um, as graduate students, and even some of the scholars that were in my class were interested in how they could find visiting professor posts. And so I contacted the regional English language office in Brasilia, and they referred me to the Education USA program in Goiania. And so I had the privilege of meeting through the internet our guest and Today, I'd like to introduce to you Luis Gias, and he is with Education USA. He is an advisor there, and he's going to tell you a bit about himself and about Education USA. So, welcome, Luis. Hi, Darlene. Thank you so much for having me. It is really a pleasure and an honor for me to be here talking about Education USA and international opportunities, you know, international for everybody else, right? For those yeah. of you who are not Americans and who have the dream or the plan or the wish to study in the United States, uh, I'm here to tell you that there is a way. Uh, the United States uh, believes that uh, in diversity, believes in uh, encouraging uh, more people to come and study and have access to world top class uh, universities and higher education. So that's why they have this program that it's called uh, Education USA. It is sponsored by uh, Department of State. Uh, and uh, what we do is we want people to have access to US higher education. We really want people to know that the opportunities are there and how to have access to US higher education. So I'll start sharing my screen. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Uh, is it full screen or not? It's supposed to be full screen now. Okay, yes, it is now. All right, great. So uh, this is what we, uh, uh, this is what I plan to talk to you about today is like, well, how can Education USA help you uh, achieve your dreams, achieve your goals of studying in the United States? So this is a, you know, getting started session, basically telling what you need to do in order to study uh, in the United States. So basically for us to start, uh, just wanted to ask uh, people if they know this, right? How many Brazilian students are there in the United States? Right? How many higher education institutions are there in the United States? Will people know that? Uh, I think that the answer may surprise you that we have over 16,000 students, almost 17,000 students studying in the United States, Brazilian students studying in the United States. International students are a big part of the United States student population in higher education. There are over 4,000 higher education institutions and these vary from university, colleges, um, uh, community colleges. We have a variety of higher education institutions in the United States that you can choose from. And my goal today is to make that process a little clearer to you and talk to you how Education USA can really help you have access uh, to that. Education USA is your official source of information to study in the United States. So we currently have over 400 offices around the world that can help you 
uh, guide you through the application process in order to have access to U.S. higher education. Over 40 of those offices, so around 10%, are located here in Brazil. Uh, my office is based in Anápolis, which is a city in central Brazil and uh, very close to Brasilia. And uh, I'm one of the 40 plus offices uh, that uh, exist in Brazil. So what, do, what does Education USA uh, do? We promote uh, US higher education. And how do we do that? We want, the, we, we want students to have the most current, updated, uh, unbiased, and relevant information about US higher education. We really want everybody to have access to what uh, there is uh, the best, right? We don't want, we don't represent any institutions or particular groups of institutions. We represent the whole US education system. So uh, we want you to have access to the best information out there, right? And how do we do that? We have a five step methodology, right? So our first step is know your options, right? So how many uh, institutions and what are the different kinds of institutions? Which one is the best for you, right? Do you, are you thinking about a community college? Are you thinking about a liberal arts college, for example, a uh, university? Is two plus two an option for you? Are you looking for master's degrees or PhDs? What exactly do you want? Uh, as I said before, over 4,000 institutions in the United States. One will be the best for you. What we want is to find uh, the best fit, you know, the one that really caters to your needs and specific goals, both uh, professional, academic, personal. We really want to find that best fit. And how do we do that? We need to define our priorities, right? What is exactly what you want? You know, how many institutions are going to be on your college list or on your programs list, right? What kind of uh, preparation do you need? So knowing all that is part of our step one, which I like to say is the most important one. A very well-planned uh, application starts with a very well plan. You, you're very, a really good plan. You really need to plan well what you want. Our step number two is finance your studies. How will you get the, the funds? How are you going to afford the US higher education, right? First, we need to plan and have a very honest assessment of how much the person can invest and how much of that will come from other sources, for example, scholarships. If you are uh, looking for graduate uh, degrees, uh, maybe a fellowship, an assistantship, the possibilities are endless. We can even talk about uh, loans or other forms of financing your education, right? Uh, it's all about having a very good planning and discussing what really are your options. We really don't want the financial aspect of education to be a barrier. We really want it to be something that you can really understand and plan so that it won't be a problem for you. Our step number three is the step that you actually prepare your application. What kinds of tests do you need to prepare? What kinds of, uh, what are the application pieces? Do you need to write an essay? Do you need to take tests? What are the, you need translation of your transcripts, English proficiency uh, requirements. So all of that is part of our step number three. Uh, it may be very different from where you are from here in Brazil, uh, the process of accessing higher education is pretty simple and straightforward. You take a test, and after you've taken the test, you just, you know, wait for your scores. Depending on your scores, you're either approved or not approved. You're admitted or not admitted to uh, the institutions you apply to. Uh, the United States uh, believes in what they call a holistic uh, admission process. So they're going to look at not only your scores, but also uh, other aspects of your life, your personal experience, your professional experience, what you do on your free time. So everything counts. Of course, that you have good scores on standardized tests is going to help you, but that's not all. You know, I like to say that good grades 
they do not guarantee access to higher education. And bad grades, they don't necessarily prevent you from accessing US higher education. You need to take a look at the whole application uh, package. And this step number three is what you need to do in order to have a very competitive uh, application uh, package. Uh, number four, we need to work on your student visa, right? If you are an international student applying uh, to US higher education, you're probably going to go on either a F visa or a J visa, which are the student uh, categories. You need to apply for that and Education USA can help you uh, get your uh, student visa uh, because that's what you need to do, right? You need to go and the process is very well uh, uh, defined by the US Department of State. You apply for your student visa, your institution that accepted you will issue uh, an I-20 form or a DS-2019, which are the forms that uh, go to uh, the consular uh, of issues so that they can analyze your, uh, uh, your application and grant you a student visa. And finally, our final step is the best step. You've been accepted, you have your student visa, you need to go, right? And we need to prepare you to go. It's what we call pre-departure orientation. Sometimes uh, these uh, elements, they can go uh, overlooked, right? Sometimes you're gonna go, let's say to either, I don't know, New York or Boston or some city in the United States. You come from a very hot, resilient city, and then you're going to go in to start your studies in September or October in the United States. When you're going towards the winter, it can be very cold. So you need to be prepared for these kinds of uh, uh, situations. What is different, you know, even uh, preparing, for example, for clothes, you know, uh, and preparing for potential cultural shocks and things like that. So we do uh, help you get acquainted to what to expect in terms of uh, 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 academic experience and personal experience as well in the United States so that we can minimize potential cultural shock. So this is what Education USA can do for you, uh, which is basically help you throughout the process from the get-go, understanding your options until the day you get on the plane and travel to the United States. So we follow these five step methodology in order to really help you experience the best education in the world, which is in the United States of America, right? So these are the pieces that you're going to be uh, preparing to in uh, when you, this is our step three, right? When you prepare your application, what are the standardized tests that you need, right? Uh, for undergrad, we're talking about the SAT or the ACT. For master's and doctor's degrees, we're talking about the GRE and the GMAT. But here in the middle, we have one that is common for both levels of education, which is English proficiency. So we're talking about the TOEFL test, the IELTS, or the Duolingo. We do have an other kinds of uh, standardized English uh, proficiency uh, exams. But these will be the most common uh, that you're going to find, and they are uh, a requirement. You're going to need to prove that you speak English. But, oh, I don't speak English so well. I'm, I'm afraid. I don't think I can do well on the tests. Don't worry about it. Education USA can help you prepare. We can have, we have uh, prep materials to help you uh, uh, on your studying. And uh, we even help you with other kinds of ways to get your English to the right level. Many universities and colleges in the United States will work with what's called a pathway program. That means that your English is not quite there yet, but you are a very good candidate. So what do they do? They guarantee you admission as long as you complete a period of English studies in that same university. So imagine that you're applying for the fall semester, which starts in September, you can very well go in the summer, in July, for example, and study English during the summer term in order to get your English to the right level so you can start in the fall semester. That is called a pathway uh, program. But I don't want to get sidetracked here. I just want to focus on the application 
uh, pieces. So these are the standardized tests, both for undergrad and graduate studies. You have many other things that you need to submit as well. For undergrad, uh, personal essay, right? Uh, you need to really write about yourself. You usually have some prompts that you write uh, about. And these essays serves a purpose of really uh, showing the university and the college who you are, you know, not only do they want to know you based on your grades, the scores and uh, the documents you submit, but they really want to read about yourself so they can really get a very good idea of who you are when you're reading your essay. So this really uh, shows you a part of you that the paper cannot really tell, you know, the, the, the scores can be very cold. So an essay is your, an opportunity. For the uh, graduate studies, what you're gonna do is you're going to submit a personal statement, also called the statement of purpose, right? Which can be sometimes similar, but you're going to really talk about your, uh, your story of life, what you did regarding research and why you want to be accepted to that particular program. Uh, and here in the middle, you have the uh, pieces that are common to all of the, uh, uh, regardless of the level, which you need to submit your transcript of records, your diploma, you need to fill out forms, so on and so forth. And if your transcript of records is not in English, it is in your native language, in Portuguese, for example, here in Brazil, you'll need that document uh, translated. And good news, Education USA is uh, uh, certified by the State Department to offer official translations of your uh, academic documents. So all higher education institutions in the United States will uh, accept an Education USA certified a translation uh, of your academic documents, which may be very um, can save you a lot of money in, you know, official notarized uh, translations. And finally, uh, on the other pieces that you need to submit, extracurricular activities in the undergrad level, uh, your resume, your CV, sometimes a, uh, a writing sample for graduate studies, and all of them, you need to submit recommendation letters. You know, what other people who have worked with you before can tell about you, what other uh, teachers that you've had in the past, what they tell about you, and how was your experience as a student, right? So these are basically, uh, you know, general lines, what you need to be prepared for in terms of uh, applying to uh, United States uh, American uh, universities and colleges. Right, so this is where you are. You're getting started today. You're learning about Education USA and what are the next steps, right? So we have the five steps uh, methodology. We can really help you with uh, individualized uh, orientation and guidance. Um, we do have other kinds of activities that can help you, uh, and they are we have workshops and boot camps on essay writing, uh, English language. Uh, uh, you know, we have many things that can really help you. We offer you document translations, as I said. We have um, uh, webinars uh, uh, very regularly on our YouTube channel, on our Instagram. I'm going to share all our social media in a minute. We have our essay, essay review task force. We do have our essay writing resource center, which is a free uh, resource on our website that you can uh, access. It is a completely online uh, nine module course that can really take your essay writing to the next level, right? We have uh, university visits. We have our library with prep materials for the GRE, for the GMAT, for the SAT, ACT, COPPLE, and so on. We do have Education USA fairs. Uh, because of the pandemic, it's all happening online and they are all free. So I really suggest you take a look at those. And we have uh, our office power. So make sure that you access our website uh, to see where is the nearest Education USA office to where you are, right? Maybe you're in Brazil or somewhere else in the world. Uh, I'm sure there will be uh, an Education USA office near uh, your location. So these are some of our students who have successfully uh, applied and got accepted to 
uh, uh, US higher education. We received Felipe in Stetson University, Juan was accepted to Harvard University, Luca in Dartmouth, and Carlos in Minerva. So all of these students, they've been our advisees in the past, and they are today uh, studying in uh, the United States. As I was saying, this is another free uh, resource that we have, which is the USA, uh, the SA uh, Writing Resource Center. This was a partnership that we have with the Regional English Language Office, the RILO, um, which is basically these nine modules, um, uh, writing uh, uh, course that can really get your writing uh, to the next level. You understand what the university representatives, the admissions officers, what they are expecting from your, uh, from your essays, from your writing. So this is really, really good. Um, another thing that is very important and interesting for you is Education USA Academy. This is uh, focused on students uh, ranging between 15 and 17 years old. Uh, it means that you can get to have a summer experience in one of our partner universities um, in the United States, partner universities of, of this program. Uh, so you can have a glimpse of what it feels like to live on campus, for example, and you engage in academic activities. You prepare uh, yourself in order to apply to U.S. Uh, universities. So Education USA Academy is a fantastic way of uh, uh, having a hands-on, first-hand experience on uh, U.S. higher education. Right, so four weeks in uh, July, so you can really check our website out, education uh, at usaacademy.org. So you can take a look at uh, the programs that are available to you. We have weekly events uh, every day uh, of the week. Uh, there's something going on. So we have our point points, which is uh, we have a an advisor or uh, two advisors who are on the Zoom link for an hour just to answer questions that you have. This is daily. Uh, we have uh, other kinds. We have conversation clubs. We have events all the time. So make sure that you take a look at our uh, agenda, educationusa.org.br uh, forward slash agenda. So you know what's going on and you don't miss out on any of the events uh, we are preparing. Um, these are examples of events that we have, the Plankton and the conversation club. Um, and uh, just make sure that you always have access to what Education USA uh, is doing. And a program that I would really like to talk to you about is what we call the Opportunity Funds Program. The Opportunity Funds Program is uh, an, a, a program that Education USA has in order to make sure that students who cannot afford the application process, that they are not excluded from access to US higher education. Sometimes students will not be able to pay for a TOEFL exam, for example, or the SAT or the GRE. And the simple fact that these students do not have the money to pay for the exam automatically disqualifies them uh, to apply. And this is uh, upsetting. We don't want that to happen. So what we do is we select students who are excellent academically, students who perform great, but students that do not have the financial resources. I'm not, not even saying to pay for the university. I'm not talking about tuition fees and uh, living expenses. I'm talking about the application process. These students, they are excluded from the process because they cannot pay uh, the application fee that some universities will charge. So we want these students to have access. So the Opportunity Funds Program, we select uh, every year, we select uh, tens uh, of students uh, from both undergrad and graduate studies, and we pay for the application process. They get all of the guidance and counseling, they get all the tests, they get the visa fees, they have all of the application costs covered by the program. So if you are in this situation, if you feel like you're really good academically, but you wouldn't have the financial resources to apply, make sure that you participate in uh, our, uh, uh, 
Opportunity Funds program. It's one of my favorite things ever because they really make uh, it really makes a difference in a lot of students' lives. Uh, they really uh, uh, students who wouldn't who would otherwise never be able to access U.S. higher education. They can do it because of Opportunity Funds program. So make sure that you uh, check your eligibility and apply so that you can uh, access U.S. higher education, counting always on Education USA as your uh, source of information. So here you have some of our uh, uh, social media. So make sure that you follow Education USA, that you can get in touch with us, and we'll make sure uh, to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. I'm so excited about everything you shared and I was making notes. Um, I loved that you pointed out that the goal is to find the best fit because often I find with international students, they've heard of Harvard, they've heard of Yale, but they don't realize that there are thousands of other high quality higher education programs that could benefit them here in the United States. So thank you for stressing that. And of course, you know, I'm excited about the Opportunity Fund um, because it's very important to me that um, access is not limited to students who uh, by accident of birth were born into families that could afford for them to go to university. So thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. And um, I look forward to getting the feedback in the comments about the students who will be accessing uh, what Education USA offers there in Brazil and uh, hopefully worldwide. Yeah, thank you. So Education USA uh, is you know, spread over 170 countries. So I'm pretty sure that you know, there is an Education USA very close to where you are, wherever you are around the world. An Opportunity Funds program uh, is also a global program. It does not only happen here in Brazil, but all over the world. So uh, make sure that you uh, uh, really use all the resources that Education USA has to offer. And as you said, it's very common for students to know about Ivy League schools. You know, they've heard of Harvard, they've heard of Yale, they've heard of Columbia or, you know, maybe Stanford or, but, you know, there are 4,700 U.S. higher educations for you to choose from. One is going to be uh, ideal for you. Maybe it's Harvard. I don't know. We need to really, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, so we just need to make sure that, you know, uh, you don't focus too much on one university over the other. It's just knowing that there are uh, uh, a variety of possibilities that, uh, you may uh, choose from, and uh, Education USA does exactly that, is help you find that best fit. And, you know, uh, uh, I know that studying in the United States is, you know, more than a goal, is a dream for most people, because it is the best education in the world, and making sure that these uh, uh, gets to the greater, to a greater amount of people, regardless of where they come from, regardless of how much money they have, this is uh, something that can really make a difference in the world. So I'm really proud to be part of the Education USA network and uh, especially the Opportunity Funds program. So yeah, uh, uh, make sure that you have access to, you know, that you access everything that Education USA has to offer. Okay. All right. Thank you all for joining us. And um, again, thank you, Luis. And please comment below if this, um, I know it's gonna be helpful, so I'm not even going to say if this video was helpful to you, but tell me how it helped. And I look forward to next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the comments.